for the job we've got to do today is going to be soft washing instead of power washing we're going to do some soft washing using some sodium hypochloride this area here is block paving that's getting done and then this bit up here is like an, in, an indian stone type um, paving but there's a lot of joints cracked missing damaged so instead of just putting the cleaner on it now and it'll just seep through all the gaps. So I want it to stay on the surface. So when I agitate it and I work it into the brickwork, I don't want it to be dispersing and disappearing through the gaps and everything. So the job's going to be, um, this is going to wait until I put the cleaner on that bit, because this is okay, the joints are okay on this bit. And this bit I'm going to set to with um, the grinder and I'm going to grind the joints out, brush all them out the way, clear all the area and then re seal it using compound i do like to use sand and cement hands and knees job pushing it in with a finger trowel uh, you've seen it in one of our well a couple of our previous jobs it does do a great job i'm happy with it but you know you've got to move with the times and now i have used it before but i don't like it it's expensive but it's very quick it's the jointing compound which you'll see so i'm going to video this first i'm going to do it in two stages because so stage one it's going to be doing the filling and getting it all back sorted and stage two second video is going to be the cleaning so stay tuned for that so before we do anything i've had to just nip away and i've got to go and get the little handy generator one of our generators because the plug on the wall isn't working so i'm back but i've also brought this as well you've seen it on if you watch the pointing video on a pointing on a wall um I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is use this for any heavy bits, any, any, any wide gaps, even like where you can, where I can get that in. And basically it'll just save on the noise and the dust of the grinder. So I will have to grind, but I'm going to use that for as much as I can. So I'll go over with that now. So just a case of brushing all the gaps out now. Oh, I do love my job. Sometimes not. 
never mind. You know me, folks. I'm not one to complain, not one to moan. <laughs> you know, let's just get on with it. So, okay, we've just got to brush all them. Just make sure the gaps are all clean. The great British weather never fails, does it? Never fails. Oh well, let's get on with it. So, like strange isn't it? It's absolutely, well, it's not hammering down, it's raining. And I'm getting my hose out. So we're going to use the little hose that I bought a while back. Still gets used, even in the winter. So, got to wet it all down, even though it's raining. I'll, I'll give it a good soak so I know it's all done. And just wash any bits of rubbish off. Okay, let's give it a wash. So it's just a case of keeping it moving, filling the gaps as you go, and uh, keep it wet. So as long as it's wet, and it's moving, and the gaps are getting filled, jobs are good. Un. And as I said earlier, I do like the old fashioned, you get on your hands and knees, you know, on a little mat, kneeling mat, uh, push the sand and cement mixture into a semi-dry mix, into the gaps, and then you smooth it all out with a, with a finger trowel, a pointing iron. Yeah, it does a great job. And I really don't mind doing it. But the benefit of using this, as I said earlier, it is a bit expensive, but it's so quick. So it counterbalances itself. 
it, it's there to buy, but it's so quick to do the job. So whereas the sand and cement is so cheap, but you'll be all day pointing all this and your knees lake and your back lake. So it is swings and roundabouts, you know, you choose which one you want to do. But as I say, the benefit of this one is you can do it in the rain. The pointing's got to be dry. So that's self-explanatory really why this one's good to use. Oh, okay, well, it's done. And at this time and stage, I'd like to say, voila. But I can't because um, the instructions are really to go over it with a soft brush at the end and just clean everything up. I don't know if you can pick that. I'll spin you around anyway so you can see it. But it's absolutely hammering down. So I'm going to leave it. But I'm going to get the video out anyway. Simple reason is I'll be back in as soon as it's dry. Well, you know, I'll let it go off to do the cleaning. So we'll check it then, instead of me waiting now for the video and then you haven't seen it finished. It is finished, but it's not, you know, A1 finished. So I'll just spin you around. And there's a little bit of pointing uh, stuff left. So what you do is you put it in back in the box, cover it, make sure it's covered with water and put the lid on. And they say that'll save for up to about four weeks. So I can see it probably needs little bits putting in, but I can't do anything now because the water's washing it. But it is all done. It is all pointed up. So, I mean, I'm, I am happy with it, but obviously I'm not happy not finishing full stop. I mean, and this is going to hold all the time now because I haven't relayed it. I've only re resealed it. So you're going to sort of, the water's not going to escape anyway. But again, that's another, you know, that's another bridge to cross at a later date. This patch, the brickwork's disappeared. So I can't even put that back in. So we'll have to get a little bit of sand cement. But apart from that, yeah, it's done. Um, and we'll see it next time I turn up, cleaned, you know, brushed. And then we'll get the cleaner on it, the hypo. And we'll get that all sorted. So it should be nice and clean coming up over the next week or so. So I'll see you on the next video. I'm just sorry it can't be finished 100% now. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.